head for well, it's just like the Australian trouble. bully. He hmm. got punished along with the kid who's been torturing him. Yeah. Yeah. It's like these teachers never come down on the right side. Oh, no. He was a big pussy. But now you, in my community, you had a fight. You, you had no choice. You had a fight. I mean, what were you going to do? I mean, either that but or just get times, killed. These bully situations go on and the teachers know about it. They just stay out of it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind if they stayed out of it. Did they have to pile on me? Well, they're siding with the group that's going to kick <laughs> their butt. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, you, stop it. And he threw a piece of chalk at me. Because I've seen that, too, where they start to pile on to the kid that's being bullied. Yeah. You know, they give them a hard time, too. It's yeah. almost like they can't help it. <laughs> Lord of the Flies out there. Oh, yeah. That movie, I can't watch <laughs> Lord of the Flies. I grew up in Lord of the Flies. Uh, yeah. Fine, is just wondering why I'm a fucking neurotic mess. Now he knows. Cunt. Hate everybody. I don't know. Life's just been one nutty fucking thing after another. And this radio business is nuttier than all of it. Believe me. Nutty. Nutty, nutty, nutty. Anyway, so that's that. Now I really can't think straight. <laughs> I'm in a very negative place today, okay? Yeah. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Hey, Ron, you're on the... Oh, I should take a break. But okay, we'll hear from Ron and then we'll take a break. Hey now, Howard. Just hey now. Just to get an update on uh, J.D.'s oral hygiene and how it's going. Has J.D. Uh, started using... What were those things? I'm going to tell you something. I don't know what J.D. is doing. But I was in his office uh, the last couple of days. His office doesn't smell anymore. So really, his and breath taints the whole office? Yeah, and his breath is pretty good. I mean, I haven't smelled anything on him. So whatever he's doing, what are you doing, J.D.? Because it's working. I'm proud of my boy. Uh, used Still to, utense, I, he right. has a little tiny office, and you'd walk in, and the fucking place would reek, and I realized it was from him. <laughs> you, you smell good. I'm telling you something nice. Well, thank you. I, what are you I, doing? I'm not really doing anything that different. Uh, I did buy that. Uh, I, I bought some uh, new toothpaste, but uh, otherwise, I'm not really doing. Are you anything. doing the stimulants like I told you? Uh, I I haven't started them yet, but I did get them. I do have them. Good. Use them. They Just don't work constantly. in the package. Yeah. After yeah, every anytime you eat anything, I don't care if you have like um, a little snack, piece of fruit. Use them, and your gums will get strong. Do you know what someone told me about you that you haven't been to a dentist in five years? Do you know we have medical insurance yes, here? Yes, I know. Like, <laughs> Why like, wouldn't you go? That's a I, huge it's, benefit. It's, I'm just doubtful when they're bad. You know what it would cost them to go to a dentist and get a full, nice cleaning and an examination? What? About 20 bucks on our plan. Oh, my goodness. Why don't you go? What's the problem? I, I, it's, I... What? <laughs> really? Why won't you I, I'm go? I'm just not uh, a fan. You know, people don't like the dentist. And I'm one of those people. Yeah, I, you know what? Uh, listen. First of all, I used to be one of those people. No one likes going to Do dentists. Do you like your teeth? <laughs> I got a great dentist. He's such a gentle guy. He's he's great with it. But, you know, there's many fine dentists. You know, nowadays, with modern dentistry, it's so much less painful. Uh, it, it's been on my mind a lot Dude, recently. This, I, Especially this now. I want. I want you to make an appointment today with a dentist. <laughs> okay. And uh, Howard TV is going to watch No, they're it. not. No. <laughs> Boy, maybe they'll make it be no, easier yeah. for you. No, it won't. I fuck Howard TV. <laughs> just, just, I want you to make an appointment with a dentist. Oh, okay. I mean it. I, okay, I know. It ain't like you don't have the money. You got the insurance. That's part of your yes. package. That's part of your salary. I, I, you take advantage of it. Go every week. <laughs> you know? I think you're afraid of what you're going to find out. Well, that, too. Yeah, well. The it's more... not going to get any better, though, the longer you wait. Right. Oh, well. You know, you're like these people I read about who, you know, have advanced, like, colon cancer and stuff. And they say, oh, if only I had just gone early on. Why is my I, asshole sore? <laughs> yeah. The, the, the That's dentist, a whole different issue. The dentist can't examine your asshole. <laughs> I know. I know. He won't take care of <laughs> everything. What, are you afraid of the pain? I mean, you're not that much more pussy, That too. I, yeah. they anesthetize you. <laughs> you know what that means? Do you know what it means? What, anesthetize? Anesthetize? You say it, Robin. No, you say it. <laughs> you say it. Go ahead. Anes anesthetize. You know what that means? Yeah, they put you out. Exactly. I know anesthesia. Well, they don't have to put you out sometimes, so they can just numb you. 
Yeah. All right. Stop being a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> Isolate what Robin just said and play it over and over again. Yeah. Don't be a big baby. You hear about my trials and tribulations. You see, I get lawsuits. I got to I get punched out. I get choked out. Yes. Well, you know what I mean? Yes. I. Yeah. I and I'm still standing. I I see that. Yeah. I'm proud of you. That's right. <laughs> But great to get your teeth examined. I, I mean it. I'm not joking. I know. All right. Good man. <laughs> you know, my mom had to fuck black eyes for my gambling <laughs> desk. For, for her dental clinic. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to go to the dentist? Is that the problem? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you know, I had to fuck black eyes for my son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> There's your music. Dance your way out of here. <laughs> Look how good he is. He does dance well. He does. I wish I could do it. I said you dance well. Look, he's good. Teach me how to do that. I'll teach you how to take care of your teeth. You teach me that. It's an exchange program. Straight off. Goofy little fuck dancers better than me. By the way, did you check out Dancing with the Stars? Yeah, I did. I watched it. Who was good and who was bad? Uh... Well, amazingly, Kersey Alley is 60 years old and fat as a cow, and she can actually move pretty well. So she did very, very well because because well, no one expected her to be able to even move that, that <laughs> so elephant-like body. Yeah, it was, yeah, she's amazingly limber for an older woman who's fat. I mean, when I say fat, I mean obese. Uh, so crazy. Oh, mm. oh, oh, what a terrible sound. Hey, by the way, our audience is very generous. You know, I, I've been mentioning that I'm into the iPad, too, in a big way, and I'm into my Apple phone, my iPhone, and all that. And, and people are so lovely that they started uh, sending in gifts to me, oh. uh, various Apple, not like accessories and things like this. Please, you don't have to do that. It's very generous and very appreciated. But I find myself getting hostile to this stuff. I, I, uh, I get it, and I was like, where am I going to put this? Now you got some more junk. I don't know. I, you know, listen, I, I, so I gave it to uh, people. You know, whoever was around, I uh, handed it out. What did uh, you get? I got uh, a, 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 an iPad docking station where you put it in and it's got big speakers. And, really? But I'm not interested in that. In other words, I, I don't, uh, I like the iPad because I can carry it around. You I'm don't not, want it docked. Yeah, I'm not looking for a movie theater experience with my <laughs> iPad. You understand what I'm saying? It seems like you a waste of time. Sound. Oh, my God. I mean, it, it, it's wonderful, but, uh, but I gave it to someone who was thrilled. That's okay. all. Okay. You're just um, going to be using your Dr. Dre headphones, right? I, I, and they, some guy said, well, someone sent me uh, Dr. Dre headphones, which is very nice. And, and, and I, ha I bought a pair of them, and I love them. But, uh, you know. the sponsor. Yeah, no. I think that. No? I think Dr. Dre sent you the headphones. He did? Yeah, because my friend who works at Interscope Records, which Dr. Dre is on, said, Dr. Dre wants to know where he could send some headphones. Uh, it was headphones. very nice. I mean, listen. Really? I love them. They're awesome. I have the Dr. Dre headphones. I just got a pair, but they're from Beezit, I think. Yeah, mine too. Beezit. I got, uh, I, 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 I think I even got an iPad 2 from you, Citrix or something. You did. They, yeah. they, I met with a guy from Citrix well, yesterday. I need an iPad 2. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it Not away with, already? No, no, no. That one I didn't. He goes, I, I uh, uh, the guy goes to me. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? He goes, I heard Howard got an iPad 2. I said, yeah, I think he bought one. And he goes, well, give him this one too. No, very nice. Yeah. But listen, you, but please, I want to say something to people. Uh, our fans are the most generous fans, Robin. Yes, they are. They really are. And, uh, you know, listen, we're doing okay. You don't have to send that kind of stuff in. It's lovely. You know, I mean, uh, one of the, the nicest things I can tell you, I mean, uh, people, and they're not even looking for a plug, honestly. I never get a, 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 a note that says get a, give me a plug or something like that. If I mention them into photography, people are helping me out all the time. You just got a photo, you just got a book today on how to um, like a really thick book, like a how to on photography. Uh oh. And then you got another iPad two. It's like a backpack carrying case sort of thing. Yeah. Well, listen. Are you going to be walking around with your wow. iPad backpack? If I walked around with all this stuff, people said, that, "Yeah, the iPad backpack." Wait, you know what? Somebody told me I haven't oh, seen it yet. Yeah. The best. We, when I was talking to the guy from Citrix, I think Jim McClure told me that they make now. Some sort of a jacket that you can put your iPad in has an iPad pocket. I saw it. They have a jacket <laughs> for all here. of your accessories. You can put your cell phone in So you in there. open your coat, you pull out your iPad, your you ever, iPod, your you, iPhone. You ever see these guys go fishing? Yeah. And like, like they have every, all their tackle. Everything and they've got a, a vest a jacket, and a, vest. a hat. Well, and a... this is made for all your electronic. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure if you wear this and put all your electronic equipment in it, you'll have cancer in a you'll week. You'll die. Yeah, right. It doesn't look good, though, right? It looks no, retarded, no, right? it's never good. Listen, how, how, how fashionable. shapely. Right.
But uh, I, I, although I do believe, especially with men, uh, manufacturers should start putting special pockets in, inside pockets for uh, phones and stuff because there's never any place to put things. Oh, but that's going to um, ruin the line. All of my suits, <laughs> I, I notice in my suits, they always put in the pants pocket a little pocket in the pants pocket for your keys. Right. Which I really appreciate because your keys just stick out of your pants. See, I thought that was for change. No, that's for keys, I think. Oh, maybe it's for change. I thought it was for change. I, didn't I, I, I know the pocket you're talking about. You, no, I think it's for keys so you don't so your pockets don't look like they're flaring out. Mm. Somebody tell uh. us what that's for. <laughs> I'm using it well, for, like, for keys. <laughs> well, what's it like even in even like on Levi's? In, in jeans, yeah. What's this little pocket here for? I don't know about that. It's supposed to be called useless. pocket watch, believe it or not. Oh, is it? I think. Yeah. In your back jeans? In the, back in the day when people used those things. Well, well anyway, our audience is tremendously generous, and I'm, I, I'm very appreciative. Very, very nice. But, uh, you know, so unnecessary. Hey, but, Howard, but it does make you feel loved, I'll tell you that. It certainly does. It certainly does. Very nice. I just got some flowers, and the the car got messed up by water. I don't even know who sent them. See? Uh, that's, uh... So if you don't get a thank you note from Robin, you know why. <laughs> yeah, Ron. Yeah, just, just real quick, Howard. Uh, that Queen Hippo deal and the $55 million and the shithole radio, those are two crappy channels, but uh, why would Sirius uh, dedicate an entire channel to an organization that condones the rape and uh, covers it up with children with the Catholic Channel. Hmm. Well, well uh, I don't know if they are actually endorsing everything the Catholic Channel says. I think the idea well, behind the Catholic Channel, if I um, may defend the company's uh, position on that, I would imagine it's that uh, there are many devout Catholics throughout uh, this country who want to hear messages of uh, hope and, and you know... And they're shut in. Right. And so, they can't get to churches. I don't think it means Sirius condones the negative parts of Catholicism. Well, no, I'm not saying Sirius condones it. I'm saying that organization condones it. And believe it or not, it some Catholics are actually against child rape. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Just one more, th just one more thing, Howard. Can <laughs> we have uh, Come On Her Eyes and Chin when we go to the news with Robin, the song from Psych? What'd you say? Come On Her Eyes and Chin. You want to hear that today? Oh, yeah, please. All right, Fred, we got to take a break anyway. How about yeah. playing a little uh, from Psych? Come that's, on. That's, those are hard to find because they load these in and they don't necessarily list them by title. If you ever put the news, Howard, that'd be fine. All right, we'll have it by the news. We can certainly right. find it within four hours. All right, right. thank you, Ron. Ron Kishman took us a run from uh, wherever he's from. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Listen to this. Howard. Richard and Benji and Babe Pop Culture Convention, Comic Con. Hi, what's your name? Oh, hello there. My name is Conk from Brassy and Evil. And what? My name is Conk from Brassy and Evil. From, I didn't get the last part. Brassy and Evil, sorry. I'm Conk from Brassy and Evil. Crunch? Honk. H-U-N-K. Honk. Oh, honk. Yeah. Like honk? Like honk, yeah. Or, oh, a uh, hunk? Like a yeah. hunk? It's Hank. No, it's Hunk. Hank. Hunk. From Curse of Evil. Rest in Evil. Conk from Curse of Evil. Okay, we're here with Conk of Curse of Evil. The Howard Stern Show. Show. Hey, this is Steve from The Intern Show. The one and only medicated Pete joins us. When last we saw Pete, he had a hot date with him up at Studio 69 trying to impress. We'll find out if he had any luck. Plus, behind the scenes with Nikki Benz and the world's saddest listeners on The Intern Show. Tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. On Howard 101. This is my life. I'm what you would call a freshman in life, a supplier of fine coffee drinks to those in dire need. I am a driver of an unironic car from the 80s. I've got a girlfriend who's way too cute for me, and two roommates who never seem to go away. My future has very few certainties. You've built a life over the years. 
But if your identity gets stolen, it's like your life gets stolen. That's why there's Identity Guard, from the company that's already protected over 30 million people. You'll get the kind of state-of-the-art protection and information that helps you keep track of your identity 24-7. Identity Guard. Keep what's yours, yours.